Hello and welcome to the tutorial video for the new AdSpace creation page in Yahoo App Publishing. The purpose of this video is to show you the improved, easier way to set up a new ad space for your app. We'll focus on two of our most popular ad formats, native stream ads and video ads. To navigate to this page, simply log into the Flurry portal. Then click on the Publishing tab, select Inventory, then Ad Spaces, then click on New Ad Space on the top right of the page. Let's start with native ads. Native ads can appear in any stream within your app, including vertical scrolls and carousels. To configure a native ad space, begin by giving it a name. Next, select the application where you want the ad to appear. Leave the ad mix as standard. Finally, select the stream placement. You'll notice a few sections called Add Details and Advanced Options below. These are optional settings that you can choose to update either when creating your ad space or at any point after. In this video, we'll skip these optional settings and complete the process by clicking on Save Ad Space. You'll know you successfully created your ad space when you see this page appear. Just grab this code and integrate it into your app. Information on how to do so, including sample app code, can be found on developer.yahoo.com slash flurry. Now let's go back and talk through how to set up a video ad space. The first steps to set up a video ad space are the same. Give it a name and choose the application that it's for. Leave the ad mix set as standard. Note that if you plan to run rewarded video ads in your app, this is where you would select that option. This time, we'll select full screen as our placement. By default, a full screen ad space accepts both display and video ad formats. If you'd like to accept both of these types and are happy to accept any eCPM for them, you can skip ahead and save your ad space. For this tutorial, we're gonna specify that we want this ad space to show only videos. So let's open up Add Details. Here, you can choose to accept only video ads by deselecting static and rich media in the Add Type section. You'll notice by default, you'll be showing video ads of all lengths in your app. You have the option to limit ads to a maximum of 15 seconds, as well as to allow users to skip these shortly after the video begins. Finally, on the right, you can set a price floor for your video inventory. To do so, enter the minimum CPM you will accept in this box. You can also leave it blank, and we will dynamically set the optimal CPM floor for you. The next section contains additional controls to configure advanced options for your ad space. We'll skip those optional features for now and go on to save our ad space. Again, just grab this code and integrate it into your app. More information on how to integrate video ads can be found at developer.yahoo.com slash flurry. So you're all set. We've shown you how to create a new ad space to show native stream and video ads in your app. If you have any questions, you can always email us at support at flurry.com. Thanks for watching.